did lower the like Z probe down a little bit as opposed to the previous print which started curling. Now I've only just remembered I wanted to record this actually and also keep an eye on it. Well that if you looked at the previous print I think you've probably seen that the skirt I usually ask for a skirt that's like a line going around the outside that gets the plastic flown and also gives a chance to check that the skirt was not adhering all that good and really I probably should have stopped the print at that stage but didn't I kept on going the part is but, well, for the top part it is usable, in my case, on your printer, well, presumably you've got better settings than me, or, you know, you've sorted out curling, you don't have curling, because this is ABS, now, you do need ABS, well, unless you've got some way of fastening, like friction welding um, PLA or super glowing PLA, I don't know how strong PLA with super glow is, but I would say ABS and weld it with acetone, pure acetone. Sometimes it's a bit hard to see if you've got light coloured filament like I have. But that seems to be going better there. So if this goes out of focus, I tend to have quite a bit of focus, focusing issues with this camera. This is about a three hour print. 225 on the nozzle there, well the heat, I say the nozzle, I should say the heat hot end. 0.4 nozzle, E3D version 6 genuine, 65 on heat bed, on, on borica silica glass, but that borica silica glass has had Elmer's glue stick on. And normally Elmer's glue stick works absolutely like magic on it, as you've seen on a previous video, I did get curling, so that's the first time I've really had curling, but that, sorry about this. This is um, quite a longish print in relation to the width, etc, etc. Okay, I'm going to pause the video just now. That seems to be going better. Probably mainly because I have lowered the head down. Now I also have put a piece of captain tape in this. Sorry, I'm looking at the reflections in this like shroud here. Because I was worried that there is a fan on the right hand side blowing air across the E3D version 6 pins and the slots in both sides for the air to come out. But some of the air might have been going down onto the path. So I've stuck a bit of captain tape in there, cut it to size. And that should stop at any chance of any draft coming from that fan on the right coming down. Now there is a fan on the left that is not turned on, that's for PLA, that fan on the left blows along and down and like round here and there's a gap in the bottom there for like a ring of air in a way to blow onto a PLA part, don't want a fan on ABS I'm told, and so I haven't. So the only fan there is the fan blown onto the fins of the E3D version 6. Right, enough waffle. Start waffling, I'll be here all day. So three hours. I'll come back probably after about an hour and we'll see if that looks like it's starting to curl or whatever. An hour and a half is a good time actually. 
Well, it's coming up to about one hour, 55 minutes actually. And you can't see any lifting or curling on this. It does have curved edges on. And as I say, I think you're asking for problems in a way if you do put curves on the bottom edges of your printer. This is ABS. 65 on the heat bed here. Elmer's glue stick on. Elmer's glue stick sorted out a lot of problems for me. I want the previous print I did get well what we call bad curling wave. Uh, about five millimeters on the left hand side but was only on the left which is you know always weird that you get on one corner or something. Anyway I fitted a piece of captain tape inside the sort of fan shroud here to make sure that no air from this fan that blows across the fins can blow onto the part. I lowered the Z probe down a little bit and that's what I'm thinking has actually probably solved the problem is lowering the Z probe down rather than fitting this piece of captain tape inside. But one thing about doing two things like that, you don't know which one is curing the problem. So, yeah, coming up to one hour. This is the bottom part of the stand. This actually goes into the like base of the stand. Be acetoned in and then the top part gets acetoned to this to raise the height more for the headphones to hang from on a desk. And let me turn that LED out because this is in my server cabinet which has like a glass basically glass door on so we get reflections there. I'm going to look up to see if there's any way of stopping these reflections. Now I know there's polarizing filters put on cameras. I would find that hard to do on this camera. There's no like filter ring or anything like that. Not impossible to pick up something maybe but I'm going to look at this into this see if there's a way of and I cut down these reflections here and I get. Sometimes it's hard to know if the Well it's just past two hours into this print. Should be about three hours altogether. I can't see any major curling on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, oops, some reflections there. That sort of patch on the right hand side there is for, well, it's just the start of the. I don't know what to call it. It's a thing to wind a wire round, the cable round on the uh, headphones. Got reflections there. So this is sort of the top part, and it's got. This is what's sort of printing out on the bottom part, like a part like this. And that's for the cable to sort of, you can wrap that round. So this part will actually, can I zoom up a bit more? This part I almost will weld onto this part. Oops. I'm forgetting to like lock off the tilt and when I want to do that. So that part, so I've got that, that part will sort of weld acetone onto there. And this you can wrap the cable down, put the headphones on here and there'll be a base stand 
um, connect to that part to sort of stabilize it all. Yep, not too bad, a bit of a gap there as I see my other pins, particularly here. And there was carving on this one, but I mean it's fitted in there okay, a bit of filing because it was a little bit of roughness. So this is the bottom part of this stand. On a stand like the length will be probably too big for most printers, so I split it into two. Start to see that part getting printed now. So is that a tiny bit of curling there on the left? Mm. Can I get this here? It's a bit hard to tell actually. It's very small if it is. Well, it's going to finish just now, I think. Three hours, call it three hours, ten minutes. As I say, that part's for it, like the cable, there we are, it's finished. Uh, that part there is in a way for the, just for the cable to wrap round. Well, as I say, finished there. That's our time to cool. Now we're going to try and hold this because sometimes it will come loose off the bed. Yeah, see, it does come loose off the bed there. Oh, I wanted to try and get a piece of paper under there. Uh, but I can't really tell because it has come loose off the bed. Um, if that's warping, it's so... I don't think it is warping actually, but if it is like curling or warping, it's such a small amount, I can't even see it really. So, right, let's, um, so basically the idea here is to weld those two parts together, just some acetone, should be strong enough. And then this, that goes into a base, like a stand base, and I'll just hold it there like that for now because there's not much space. But basically that's to wrap round the cable of the headphones and the headphones hang sort of on here. Need the height for the headphones basically. Right, now it's for the base, which I am. I am doing what is known as procrastinating, I think it's called, where I'm trying to put it off by doing something else. Doing this part here. For example, I mean these parts don't need doing, but I'm trying to put this off because the base is almost going to be like almost the full area of the bed. It's got quite an opening in the middle, quite big. So I'm trying to avoid doing that. And that one come out pretty well. I think a slight bit of distortion at the top there. This other one seemed to have a bit of distortion. On this top here. I have sanded this, well filed this down. You can see that fits in there. Even though this did get, this one certainly did curve. I mean, I don't even know if that really needs glue on there, really, or acetone on there. 
that grips on there pretty pretty well actually as it is. So that's the bed goes stand piece. Okay.